Okay, let's talk about uh, 67 Centavos picks. Um, this one's kind of unique. Uh, a number of years ago, I'd have to guess at least a decade, longer than that even, um, likely 1999-ish, 2000, maybe even earlier than that, um, I saw... It must have been on the internet, too. Some guy in a forum, I think, guitar forum, was starting to develop a business based on a brush pick. So, like, a, a brush for your guitar, essentially. And here's what he did. He took some Mexican scents and uh, try and get it. He soldered on a bunch of bristles. And then he mailed out a bunch of prototypes to the people who wanted to try them out. Well, it's been a while. I haven't had the same email for a long time. I've had it for a long time. And it's lost some bristles, but it's still kicking around. So... I don't know if this guy ever did end up making a business out of it. It would be interesting to know. But, uh, yeah, he sent me a free brush pick. It, it took forever to come, and just one day it came in the mail, and I've managed to keep it around kind of ever since. Uh, just try to throw it in a guitar case when I, when I see it, and went upstairs looking for some other stuff and found it, so... If any of you happen to have been another lucky person who managed to sneak one of these out of the guy, sneak one of his lucky scents away, um, it'd be interesting to hear about. It would also be interesting to know if this guy made it into a legitimate legitimate business. Maybe, maybe he did, and he uh, just sold off the rights to somebody or something like that, but. It would be interesting to uh, find the guy again and find out what what happened and show him that, hey, it's still kicking around and still gets used once in a while. It makes quite an interesting sound on the guitar. One of my usual kind of uh, picks, just uh, Dunlop, Dunlop White 46. That's like barely, tight, barely holding it. Keep in mind I've lost some bristles, so it was a little bit more interesting than that too. And if you used, they were uh, cut at an angle, I think I may have swept the angle a little bit more, but so you could work it at an angle. Interesting thought, get some solder, make a bunch of old guitar strings, and solder them to an old coin, and you got a brush pick. Hopefully you're not violating any trademark copyrights or patents, because they'll come get me on YouTube for it, like the Nori Lights guy. Take care.